Riddle me re. When is a door not a door in the shed? When it's a jar. Six inches high, moulded in glass. Printed on the circumference of the lid, 18th of April 2013. The day Scottish Olympian Chris Hoy announced his retirement from track cycling. Here, the best before date of the receptacle's original contents. Most likely, a sweet and sour cooking sauce. Possibly tikka masala. With a use-by time of 11.41am, I wonder whether Sir Chris enjoyed this meal in place of his usual wheat-based breakfast. Now... The jar contains a murky liquid, light in coloration at the top, courtesy of a large air ingression, darker at the bottom, due to an indistinguishable mass, mostly obscured by a roughly placed white rectangular label, its edges separated by the width of my digitus medius, middle finger. Clocking right, we read, Aberystwythian, a colloquial term for descendants of a Welsh coastal town. Found at Marine Terrace and another date, this time of the discovery. Siegel, the incorrect yet informally accepted name for any species of Laridae or Gull. Closer inspection around the heel of the jar reveals the downy feathers and webbed foot of a young herring gull. Had this chick grown into an adult bird, it would have been capable of drinking salt water from the sea and then excreting hypertonic sodium chloride through specially adapted nasal glands. The bird's untimely death removed this capability dear wind that shakes the barley free bring home my true love ship to me the preserving liquid is not alcohol but a tangy malt vinegar this fledgling is the feathered fowl of a bitter broth Best bitten with aberystwyth barabrith, a bread fed to these rats of the sky who still menace the town's day trippers as they try in vain to enjoy their crispy cod and chips. A flavour of salt and vinegar more appetising than this. In the shed. <laughs>